Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to take a look what the meaning is of the word a postulate. What does it mean and how does it apply to geometry? Well, later on we're going to learn how to prove things in geometry. And so in order to be able to prove something, we have to start from somewhere, something that we know to be true, know to be self-evident. So a postulate is then defined as a proposition that doesn't need to be proved, doesn't need to be demonstrated, it is simply considered to be self-evident. So that's like a good starting point. And, but we need to explain what they are. We need to show you why they are self-evident. And now we can start from there as a basis to try to prove other things. So it's basically a truth that is simply accepted. We can look at it. We can see it must be true. So let's call it a postulate, something that we know to be true. We don't need to prove it. We can all accept it to be true. A postulate serves as a starting point for deducing and or inferring other theorems, other facts, proofs, deductions, or other postulates. So again, it's a good place to start. We know this to be true. It is self-evident. We don't need to prove it. And we can build up from that understanding to try to prove other things or show other theorems to be true. And that's why we need postulates. It's a good place to start. So we'll go ahead and show you about 10 or maybe 11 or so postulates from which we can then try uh, some exercises on how to apply those postulates to try and prove and show other things, at least to get a good understanding why we know certain things to be true. So here we start with postulate number one on our next video. That's how it's done.